You wouldn't think it, but these ice bears were mixed with other animals to make a very weird hybrid. Hello, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining us as we cover some very crazy facts about polar bears. Now, because they spend most of their lives on the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean and depend on the ocean for their food and habitat, polar bears are the only species of bear to be considered marine mammals. And although their Latin name is Ursus Maritimus, meaning sea bear, they're also thought to be the largest carnivores that live on land. Polar bears are found in the frozen wilds of the Arctic, in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. Now, the largest polar bear on record stood an impressive 11 feet and 1 inch tall when on its hind legs. He was not only incredibly large, but highly intelligent, sneaking out of traps and dodging hunters with an awareness that almost seemed human. How did this bear get so smart, you ask? Well, after a closer examination, this was the oldest polar bear humans have ever encountered. And this polar bear was also subscribed to this channel. So if you are new, be like our growing fan base and this polar bear and hit subscribe. I mean, sure, saying you're smarter than a fifth grader is great, but saying you're as smart as a polar bear? Oh, that's awesome. Now let's get cold and jump into the polar world. Number one hibernation. If a polar bear doesn't eat for 7 to 10 days, it can slow its metabolism until it finds its next meal. Oh, poor thing. They survive off of fat reserves from their diet, which consists mostly of ringed and bearded seals. But due to the fact food is becoming more scarce in recent years, it is driving some of these bears to, um, cannibalism. The polar bear doesn't hibernate seasonally like many of their brown relatives will. That being said, mama polar bears will live in dens while they raise their cubs. While these new mamas are in this child-rearing den, generally between January and March, they will act as if they are hibernating, not eating, drinking, or going number two, if you know what I mean. She'll just stay in there until her and her babies are ready to come out and say hello to the earth. Number two, size. Polar bears are regarded as apex predators, and for good reason, as they have no natural predators of their own and are at the top of the food chain in the Arctic. The average male polar bear can weigh up to 1,763 pounds. That's as much as 10 average men. And on top of that, these big boys are twice the size of their female counterparts. This, in addition to the fact that they can measure up to 9.8 feet long on average, makes polar bears the largest bear species in the world. Everything about these hunters are big. That's what she said. Their claws can grow up to six inches long, and they have a bite force of 1,200 PSI, meaning that polar bears have the strongest bite force of all bears. And if you don't know, 1,200 PSI is enough to crush a bowling ball. Big, strong, and powerful, no other animal dares rival the polar bear, the true king of the Arctic. Number three, speed. Polar bears are not only large, but they are extremely fast. They can punch it up to 25 miles per hour in a dead sprint, and that's on the snow and ice. The reason they are able to run on ice without slipping is because polar bears' foot pads have a kind of non-slip surface of tiny bumps called papillae, allowing them to get traction on slippery surfaces. I mean, let's be honest, the average human would have a tough time reaching half that speed, let alone doing it on the slippery slopes. But if you're thinking, ah, you know what? I can't outrun them. I'll jump into the water to get away. Well, think again. Polar bears can swim at speeds of up to six miles per hour in the water and have been recorded swimming for nearly 10 days at a time and traveling up to 427 miles in a single swim without stopping to rest. They use their large paws that are specially adapted for swimming to 
to paddle through the water while holding their hind legs flat like rudders. So in other words, they turn their bodies into a nice fluffy boat. Just not one you'd want to ride on because, well, you would probably be eaten. Number four, heat. Polar bear fur isn't white. No, it's actually translucent. and only appears white because it reflects visible light and it allows them to camouflage into their environment. Beneath all that thick fur, their skin is jet black, which helps them soak up the sun's rays and keep it warm. These bears can withstand temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you're thinking, yeah, but the cold's got to cut through some of that fur, right? <laughs> no, no, no. In fact, polar bears have more problems with overheating than they do with being cold. They are specially adapted to their environment and have two layers of fur that prevent almost all heat loss in the freezing temperatures. That's why they typically walk at such a slow pace. Number five, smell. Polar bears have an incredible sense of smell, which they use to find food. Many articles and YouTubers out there will tell you that a polar bear can smell a seal that is up to 20 miles away, and that they can even smell a seal through three feet of ice. And although their sense of smell is amazing, it's not supernatural. It is still extremely impressive though, with a polar bear most likely being able to smell a seal from just under a mile away. Wait, I can smell something. Oh, and they can smell three feet through things. It's just they can smell through three feet of snow, not solid ice. However, polar bears can sniff out a seal's breathing holes that are in the ice, which is handy as polar bears often hunt by waiting for seals to come up for air through one of these holes. When a seal pops its head up and through the hole, the bear strikes. Polar bears have to be smart and patient because waiting for a seal to come up for air through a specific hole sometimes can take hours or even days. Number six, hybrid. As recently as 2006, genetic testing confirmed the existence of polar bear grizzly bear hybrids, also known as roller bears or hizzly bears. What? Did I just blow your mind? I think I just blew your mind. As the world warms and Arctic sea ice thins, polar bears are being driven even further south, where they meet grizzlies, whose ranges are expanding northwards. And with that growing contact between the two species comes more mating, and therefore increased sightings of their hybrid offspring. The hybrid are usually a perfect mix of both species physically, with their size being right between both breeds. The only problem with this is that these fusions don't really work out well for the growler. For one, because they have a bit of grizzly in them, they're not as good a swimmer as a polar bear. And secondly, their strength and their size are both a little less than that of their grizzly parent. In simple terms, they are pretty poor polar bears and pretty sad grizzlies as well. But we as viewers have still come to love these amazing pizzlies. Now, although cartoons and Christmas specials would like to make these bears out to be playful and cuddly, do not approach a polar bear. They are hyper aggressive, and it wouldn't be the first time they've tried to make a human their Christmas dinner. But maybe myself and all the other research out there is wrong. Do you think you could take on a polar bear? Or even befriend one? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button so you let YouTube know this show is worth sharing with others. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you all next time.